Okay, good job. Can you tell me a little bit about the news uh, Microchip is presenting here at the show? Okay, so yeah, we have some, some interesting new stuff. Um, we, uh, we're bringing a new demo, a uh, new development, uh, continuing in our research about capacitive touch, capacitive sensing, mm -hmm. and all those technologies. We have now developed a new uh, platform, a new framework, to actually transfer data through the human body, using the human body as a medium to transfer uh, bidirectionally information between two devices. Mm -hmm. And um, the way we've implemented this, this is a, not a absolutely new thing mm -hmm. in the world. There's been, there's been papers published uh, yeah. since the 90s. Uh, and it's been done and demonstrated by other companies. But what is absolutely unique here is that we've done it using the lowest cost and the smallest of our microcontrollers mm -hmm. and using a very, very small amount of components. Mm -hmm. So to make the solution both low power, mm -hmm. easy to mm -hmm. use, and using general purpose mm -hmm. microcontrollers. Yeah. By the way, it's an 8-bit uh, microcontroller? Or yeah, we're using 8-bit mm -hmm. microcontrollers, one of the smallest we have in our portfolio, but you can choose any one of our thousand plus mm -hmm. different models of microcontrollers. So if you want, you can use a 16-bit or 32-bit, depending on the application. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what we're doing here is we're demonstrating how two units can communicate mm -hmm. among each other bidirectionally, yeah. transferring data. So I'm replacing what could be otherwise just a couple wires, if you want. But we're doing this through the body. Uh, another alternative could be to use RF, so radio mm -hmm. transmissions. But in that case, I would be broadcasting information. Yeah. In this case, instead, all the information is contained within my skin, literally, and traveling through my skin from yeah. one device to the other and back. Yeah, you transfer I, it uh, via the surface of the body. Yeah, the yeah, skin, okay. mm -hmm. because of the frequencies we're using, it's pretty mm. much a skin effect. Yeah, it yeah, works okay. through our skin. The transfer is an electric field. It's based mm -hmm. on electric field. So there are no coils, mm -hmm. which means we only have a couple ICs mm -hmm. on the devices, and we have only a few resistors and capacitors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No coils, no transformers, no need to calibrate or finely tune mm -hmm, devices. Mm -hmm. Very, very easy implementation, very simple mm -hmm, implementation, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, but if you transfer that data via the body, the human body, uh, then you have medical certification, so it must be a short transmission with no uh, right, right. danger good, for good, the... Uh, good point. Mm -hmm. it, it is, in fact, the amount of energy that we transfer is so small. We're talking of picoamperes mm -hmm. here. And it is actually orders of magnitude below what is the minimum allowed by FCC and other certification mm -hmm, agencies mm -hmm. for unintended emissions. Mm -hmm. So we're so low, you don't need certification for this product, and okay. it is not affecting medical devices eventually or present on your body. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In fact, you can have multiple of these units uh, in your shoes, in your clothes, in your pockets, yeah, yeah. and it can all be communicating with an, another base station, mm -hmm. say, and mm -hmm. you can all transfer information through your body. We have mm -hmm, an anti-collision mm -hmm. system Mm -hmm. that allows also the base station to identify uniquely every mm -hmm. object on you yeah. and to talk exclusively with that one. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about the kind of data you are transferring? Is this blood pressure or...? It could be, so the payload, you know, mm -hmm. the data that you transfer, is could be anything. Mm -hmm. We don't want to limit uh, this to a specific type of application mm -hmm. in the embedded world. We, we want to provide, we want to enable the transfer of information mm -hmm. What the information is not mm -hmm. relevant to us. We can give you a, a bandwidth of about 10 kilobits per second. Mm -hmm. So it's not megabytes per second, yeah, yeah. but 10 kilobits per second. You can have non-volatile storage, mm -hmm. so you can store information yep. on the mobile unit, and you can read and write the data remotely through the body mm -hmm. uh, as soon as you touch uh, mm -hmm. the device and as soon as you establish contact. Mm -hmm. And as, as long as the mobile unit is on you, on your body yep, yep. somewhere, you. Okay. So, and these are battery uh, powered uh, devices. Yes. How long will it last? So, in this demonstration, in this particular implementation that I have with me, which would be a demonstration of an access control system, which mm -hmm. is only one of the many possible, yeah. in an access control system, uh, this is demonstrated to live for three years. Mm -hmm. In practice, though, we, we use the battery to make it simple. Mm -hmm. uh, in reality, you could have here this implemented as an energy harvesting system. Okay. That would be, though, external to yeah. the to the technology we're presenting today. That mm -hmm. You could use any of the other energy harvesting solutions for microchip mm -hmm. and couple it with this uh, particular technology here. Yeah. This technology is patented. 
not the whole concept of transferring information for the body that was done before we haven't yeah, invented yeah, yeah. that but what we patented here is the particular implementation mm -hmm. it's asymmetric makes the mobile unit very inexpensive and very mm -hmm. low power and low cost this is patented and it helps our customers to give them the safety net it says you won't be sued for mm -hmm. using this technology you know microchip is defending this so if you use our implementation you're covered and um, it gives them this extra level of, of, of comfort. There is a little license uh, agreement that you have to go through when you mm -hmm. install our software, and it, it just asks you a fair you know, question to ask it is, please use this on microchip microcontrollers. Right? Okay. But uh, beyond that, it's source code yep, and yep. Gerber's and schematics mm -hmm. that we provide as an application note on our mm -hmm. website today and uh, it's available to all our customers. Okay, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.